and welcome to Cricket Room, where your game takes off. We are at this wonderful facility where a team from New Zealand have come here to know the conditions of India. Teams from New Zealand and other countries have come here and struggled. But these boys have come here with a specific purpose. They are being coached by none other than former Mumbai Ranji Trophy captain Amol Muzumdar. Let's get to hear from the man himself. Yeah, uh, welcome to the show, Amol. Thank you. Yeah, nice to have you here. Uh, so, uh, you are here uh, as part of uh, the camp, right? So, uh, what is the major difference between uh, Mumbai uh, batsmanship and you know uh, Tamil Nadu batsmanship? Because uh, we see a lot of uh, uh, cricketers, right? Especially batsmen, they score big hundreds from Bombay and not uh, and any other places in India. They don't do that. That special. So, what is this uh, big thing about? You know, how do they go about in their practice? See, it's not a. Uh, it's it's basically a cultural thing. That's what I feel. Um, cricketers are talented everywhere in the country, and it's not just restricted to Mumbai. They they're talented in Mumbai, but they they're also talented elsewhere in the country. So, but um, just the mentality that uh, that the Mumbai guys possess. It's hard. It's hard work. It's um, over there. You travel. You don't get to travel by um, by your car, by your vehicle. Sometimes when you're growing up, you know that that hard um, journey that you go through um, it just makes you a little tougher and I also feel Mumbai are blessed with uh, now that I'm a little bit part of the association you know I know for a fact that the the competitions or the tournaments that are played in in Mumbai are enormous you know there are several tournaments that are that a uh, that a guy goes through uh, so the match temperament improves over there and uh, the volume is high you know, volume of people playing cricket is high, so it's the uh, it's basically the survival of the fittest. Yeah, uh, thanks for it. Uh, so uh, you are here with part of Drome, right? So how do, what do you think about the facilities at Drome? Because uh, generally, uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of uh, other places in Chennai, as as you said in Mumbai, right? So what do you think about the facilities here in Drome? Uh, what what all it offers for the you know kids who are just growing up? Uh, well, I'm here. I'm really happy. Um, I, when I walked in to this facility, I uh, had a big smile on my face because it's uh, um, it's a facility which my old friend uh, Sriram looks after, uh, and uh, it was it was really nice. It's really pleasing to see uh, how well he has um, gone about doing things. Um, Sriram and me go a long way. Uh, we played. A junior cricket together and then went on to play first class cricket all together so I, I think um, it's a it's a very nice facility it's something for the youngsters to come and and explore um, and uh, I think the tagline of, of uh, Drome is where your cricket takes off so um, I think this is a place where you can um, where, where you can uh, access um, you know the, as a youngster and learn a lot from all the coaches around I think Sriram uh, there is Dinesh Karthik involved and Badrinath involved as well. So I think um, you know it's a it's a great opportunity for for youngsters to come and and what? practice in these facilities. Yeah, especially with these turf wickets and there is a concrete wicket and matting wicket as such, right? So there are there aren't too many places in Chennai where you have all the kind of wickets and uh, you know the groundsmen do a, a lot of hard work in preparing wickets, whichever. Oh, they've done a fabulous job. I think you know uh, the. The boys from New Zealand, they've really enjoyed the facility, whatever uh, was being asked by the ground. I mean, we always tend to uh, look at uh, the coaches, but the groundsmen um, always do a, a fabulous job. You know, they, it's, um, it's fantastic uh, that they've provided these kind of pitches. Yeah, going back to your uh, cricket, right? So, uh, uh, many, I don't, I don't think so many would know that, you know, you are part of the same school as, you know, Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, because, he is uh, one of the greatest. Uh, so, uh, and going back, right, uh, Sachin Tendulkar and Kambli 664 and partnership, uh, we hear that you are the next man to come into bat. So, what were you thinking at that stage? Were you even thinking of removing your pads off at some stage? No, it's not just my claim to fame. Uh, <laughs> you know, generally people uh, ask me this question, but I keep saying that it's not just uh, what I was at number five. I've done a few other things and that. Yeah rather than wait uh, for for my chance but i was it was good from uh, you know 
in a school game as a 12 year old kid you always want to play cricket and you always want to know when your chance would come i i didn't know when my chance would come if that game would have gone on for 5 days i think they would have batted for 5 days so it was it was long time back and um, you know people know about it 664 it's it's not uh, every day that you get a partnership like that but uh, um we didn't know at that time to be honest that it was a world record we only came to know probably uh, a day or two later yeah talking of your achievements definitely it's not uh, one thing one thing to play in the ranji trophy side and the second thing is i mean you play for a mumbai side where you know it's as good as an international side right so especially when you stepped in it was full of stars and it would have been nerve wracking experience right to get your ranji trophy debut and and especially when you it would have been happy that you got your you know 200 odd in the first debut game so which still stands as a record as a made in you know debut inning so thoughts on the i mean uh, on that innings yeah it was um, it's again it's a long time back uh, it's about 24 years back um, but it's still fresh in my memory um, you know you don't forget your debut yeah, i dreamt about um, uh, you know making my debut for mumbai and um, ravi shastri was the captain um so nowadays um, uh, you know he is yeah. seen only on television but ravi um, was my captain he was my hero and um, i think he um, he really pepped us up all of us and it was a memorable debut as it went on i mean i didn't know i just wanted to bat and and uh, just wanted to score as many runs as possible because there were a couple of guys who had gone to new zealand to play test cricket and when they came back i didn't want to lose my spot as simple as that i had kept it very simple that um, when they come back i really don't want to lose my spot so all i did was uh, all i know actually and I, all i knew at that time was just batting and scoring runs so i just went about doing things and many talk about your you know uh, style you were not a, a hard hitting batsman but you know you relate more on timing right so what do you think uh, you know the era has completely changed now that the t20 is uh, picked up and people these days play a lot more strokes so what would you be your advice to you know youngsters uh, think of uh, you know playing the long form game and then uh, looking at t20 or how what is your advice to the youngsters who speak you know who are just just speaking up i think my uh, advice only would be that um, you know get your fundamentals right so uh, get your basics right uh, try and get it um, absolutely solid um because um, i have always believed this and i have voiced it time and again that if you can play five day cricket um, uh, then you can play any form of cricket whether if you get yourself into an eight eight over game or 10 over game or a 20 over game or a 50 over game if you can if you know how to score runs in a five day game i think you can put yourself in any form of game okay uh, so one final question the big question i mean you would have been tired by answering this question right so are you having scored plenty of mountains of runs in the first class you couldn't you know get into the you know the india and the indian side right so i uh, when you look back at your career uh, what is the one thing that you regret i mean what is the one thing you would think that you could have done little better to get into the indian side thank you think no regrets at all i've mentioned this yeah. when i retired as well there was no regrets at all i'm not that kind of a person who would who would sulk you know uh, i always look forward uh, i've always been in the present never never stayed back in the past neither looked at at the future i'm kind of a guy who always looks um, around in the present and that's that's been my, one of my strong points and i stick by my strong points uh, no no regrets at all whatever i've done i've achieved it um, um, there are certain things which you don't tend to achieve it but but still that's life and just get on with it um, you'll never find me sulking in um, you know in a corner unless um, i've got out on on zero or something you know i'll sulk for 5 10 minutes but that's about it yeah you have done wonderfully well in your career amol thanks for chatting with us yeah pleasure yeah yeah